Should we start this bitch? Let's go in the salon. That's the intro. We're welcome. <laughs> Happy 40th birthday. Yay. 40th birthday. 40th birthday. I'm not hungover today. So 40, that's 40, good. 40, 40, also, 40. can I hear? Wah, 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 wah. Hey. What does and that mean? It means that it's time well, what to that start actually? this episode. Know. Welcome. Welcome to Music Mondays. I'm Leah. I'm Taylor. No, you're also Leah because your coffee mm. cup says so. Yes, I'm also Beach. Leah. Listen, Leah bought my coffee. Listen to this. I, I go to Starbucks, and I'm there. And so I don't know. Did I tell the coffee story of me crying about them getting my coffee wrong last time? You did. You're all gonna be proud of me, Deanna. If you're watching, roommates, if you're watching, you're gonna be so proud. They, I ordered. I, I said, can I have two vanilla iced coffees with soy? Because Taylor and I drink the same coffee. Yeah. And she gets two of them out, and then she goes, do you want any syrup? And I was like, vanilla. And somehow, she wrote soy on one and coconut milk on the other. And so I get that, and I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll just drink this coconut milk one and give Taylor the soy. I take one sip. Coconut milk is bad. In it coffee. so bad in coffee. Yeah, in coffee. It just tastes, like, sour, and I didn't like it. Yeah. So I, was, I stood there for a long time, and I was like, <laughs> and I get there, I'm like, you want me to do it? She's like, no, I stood I'm gonna there, do I stood it. there long enough for Taylor to arrive. <laughs> and, and so then I was like, excuse me, this is supposed to have soy. And they look on it, and it has coconut written on it. And she goes, does it taste like soy? <laughs> and I said, no. <laughs> and she know, goes, mm, no. okay, well, I'll fix it for you. And because she's like really looking at it and like looking at me like, it's, it's coconut, stupid. And I'm like, yeah, I, I didn't but order that. I know. I know what says coconut, and that's not what I wanted. Anyway, I got my coffee right, so thank you. I didn't cry. I only felt very anxious, but I didn't cry. So <laughs> well, I saw you like holding it, but not really in their face at all. It was like it was like here. I it, was like yeah, and I was like, D- would you like me to do this? You're like, no, yeah. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I was like okay, well, we're was, making progress. Yeah, and I was also <laughs> waiting for food, so they're probably like, oh, she's waiting for food. Yeah, but I was like. Help. Help. This is wrong. I had to like really work it up. And then I was like, because he kept being like coffee for whatever. And then he turned away from me. Coffee for whatever. And I'm like, excuse me. Excuse me. And I'm like trembling. But I did it. So anyway, let's talk about Solange. (laughs) Because that's what we're really here for. We're here to talk about Solange today. Right. So let me talk about it a little bit. Solange knows. Solange. Obviously Beyonce's sister. They all started performing when they were like, we lasses. And yeah, and so she was. She started as like a backup dancer for Destiny's Child, um, but then she eventually signed on to her father's record label, Matthew Knows's Music World Entertainment. And I didn't know that she was like kind of involved in Destiny's Child. I thought that was only Beyonce, but like I feel kind of bad. I don't want to compare her too much to Beyonce because yeah. she gets that a lot, and I'll get into that later. Yeah. Um, so then, in 2002, at age 16, she releases her first studio album called Solo Star. And then between 2005 and 2007, she got really into acting. Um, she had a lot of minor acting roles, like she was in Bring It On, um, which I didn't know. And then she continued writing music for Beyonce and the under, other members of Destiny's Child, because, I don't know if I said later on, but she said, like, her, her like, first, like, her main passion is songwriting. Um, so I think that's really cool. I think that's her strength, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. I... We'll get into it later. Can okay. Continue. <laughs> um, in 2008, she released her second studio album, uh, Soul Angel and the Hadley Street Dreams. That's right. That's the whole title. I was like, <laughs> I, just, I just had a stroke there. Um, and this was this album deviated from her Motown feel and charted ninth on the Billboard 200. Um, in 2012, she released an R&B-inspired play called True, And then she released her third studio album, A Seat at the Table, in 2016, which I feel like is the one that a lot of people know more. Um, This became her first number one album in the United States, and her lead single, Cranes in the Sky, won a Grammy for Best R&B Performance. And she says that she is heavily influenced by Motown girl groups, which I can see. Mm -hmm. Um, She is frequently compared in the media to Beyonce, but she, Solange, insists that they have different aspirations and are musically different, which they are. Mm -hmm. Like, they are very musically different. Well, Solange isn't a pop artist. No. To Um, begin with. Right. Right. Just that in itself, they are in two different genres. Yeah. So, 
you can't really compare them. Right. That's like saying, hey, let's compare uh, Usher and Greta Van Fleet. You yeah, can't. you can't do that. Sorry, that's and I a... and I hate that's like people are like, oh, it's like I don't. They're not competing with each other. Mm-mm. They're two. They're both very independent, successful women mm-hmm. in two different areas of the music industry, mm-hmm. and they're not. Don't don't compare them. Like yeah, be, people, people know Beyonce more, but it's also like Solange is also a household name. Mm-hmm. It's not like she's like any less. I mean, it says well, that's because who beat her up in an elevator, or she beat up somebody in an elevator. Do you not remember that? I do remember that, but I don't know who she beat up. But speaking oh, of... it was Jay-Z. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming that her and Beyonce are very close. That's how I... Because Beyonce was promoting the shit out of her album when it dropped. Mm-hmm. So it's like, obviously, they're sisters and they're close and they like want each other to succeed. But Billboard ranked Solange as the 100th most, su- most successful dance artist of all time. So, like, that's big. Um, And in 2017, she was honored with the Impact Award at Billboard's Women in Music. Um, She has, on Spotify, she has roughly 3.8 million monthly listeners and 675,000 followers. So, she's doing the thing. Yeah. She's not not successful. Yeah. How many... And I actually, like, I had never, like, really listened to Solange. Like, I had heard Cranes in the Sky and all that kind of stuff. shit. Beyonce has almost 25 million listeners on the spot. Um, Yeah, I liked, I think I liked her last album better than this one. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, this, this album, When I Get Home, so I guess we'll just segue into that. So, this is her fourth studio album, released March 1st, so, like, last week. It's a follow-up. To a seat at the table, yeah, which is her last album, and it, expl- it said it explores her hometown of Houston. I don't, I don't, I'm not well versed in a seat at the table, so I don't really know the connection. And also, we had two albums to listen to this week, so I'm kind of like, yeah. Um, but, but I yeah. mean, the Zunk "Don't Touch My Hair" featuring Sanfa is like, mm-hmm. it's really good. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of good songs on a seat at the table. Yeah. Um. Well, and that's why like, uh, you were guy. talking about the similar album art. That's probably why. Right. It's like a sequel. Um, Mad with Lil Wayne. Mm-hmm. That song was like on repeat for me for a while. Mm-hmm. And I, I guess I can say it now. I don't really like Solange. Mm-hmm. I think she sounds too whiny. Mm-hmm. Like she doesn't enunciate enough for me. It's just a whole lot of. Yeah. And like, I just can't listen to it. I think. She's an incredible lyricist, mm-hmm. and I think that her creative direction is really cool. I just cannot listen to it. Yeah, I feel that. Well, it's like listening to this album, I was, it, it's very much a story. All yeah. This, the, tra- the transitions on this album. They're cool. Were amazing. But I, I agree, she is hard to listen to because it is like more like, <laughs> but it's like moving past that the production of the album and the lyrics of the album and like the album as a whole as a story Mm -hmm. is really really good like I probably wouldn't continue like listening to it over and over and over again Mm -hmm. but like it's it's worth your time yeah absolutely so I think it's very cool I think it's one of those things where like Solange is a not as much of as her sister but she's a pop culture icon Mm -hmm. like she will be somebody that is remembered. Right. And her music will be a part of that. So I think it's important to listen to albums like this, especially when they tell stories. Right. Um, and especially from places like Houston that there's a lot of culture there. So I think it's right. cool. Um, but I just, I can't listen to it. Yeah. I wrote sorry with I wrote S-R-R-Y and then colon <laughs> words. <last. laughs> and that's okay. It's like, well, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But this, this album had actually had a lot of production collabs. Um, so Pharrell worked on it. He's really the only name I know off here. But so it had Pharrell, Standing in the Corner, Jameer Williams, John Key, John Carroll, Kirby, and Chassel. I don't know a lot of those people. I know who Pharrell is. But mm-hmm. like, I'm assuming they're probably big time producers if Pharrell's in there. Because I know that he's a big time producer. Yeah. And then there were collabs on this um, from like... 
like features i don't know if it's like feature features but it's like they helped so from gucci Mane, tyler the creator earl sweatshirt and then i put and more because there were a lot and i didn't type them all out um steve lacy's on it mm -hmm. um and he's he's um from the group the internet um and they're really cool mm -hmm. but yeah she had a lot of like assisting vocals like there was just a whole lot of harmonies they called additional mm -hmm. vocals on here yeah um oh she had metro boomin does that say abba oh abra <laughs> i was like no fucking way uh so abra cassie devin the dude metro boomin panda bear scarface steve lacy the dream tyler the creator metro boomin again on background vocals Earl sweatshirt standing corner uh, Pat Parker was sampled. There's a lot of yeah. There's a lot of credits. Yeah, lots oh. of people on this album. Playboy Cardi, really, and oh. Sampha. Uh, nice. But yeah, so this album, there's there's a lot going on in it. Um, yeah, I I agree. Like the actual music itself, I'm kind of like. Okay, what? like maybe not really what I listen to, but we all know what I listen to, and it's not. But. And it's funny because I picked this album, yeah. so it's like, okay. But um, I did really enjoy just sitting and just listening through it to it through. Like this isn't really an album that you can I think just have on and like be chilling to. Mm -hmm. Like this is like this is a story that you listen to when you listen to this album. Yeah. And I really appreciate that because it's cool. Yeah. But yeah, there was like thirty-seven interludes and like yeah. all kinds of just stuff. Of but can I hold the mic? I thought that one was fun. Did you? Mm -hmm. I thought that was just like a cool thing. Yeah. But yeah, I I I enjoyed it. I thought the production was really good. I thought the lyrics were really good. Um, she did have some cool harmony moments in there, which I, we can make the transition to my favorite song, which was Bins. Yeah. Um, some cool little. Uh, and they weren't they weren't just like a, oh this is just the harmony that exists it was like oh no she like found some cool weird ones to do yeah and I appreciate that also kind of like pushing the boundary a little bit yeah absolutely um, I'm trying to find which song it was ASMR my coffee oh my skin my logo with Gucci Mane um, mm, yep it's just them talk about what each other like mm -hmm. i think that's fun mm -hmm. um my favorite song was sound of rain um i just liked the way that one sounded the best um i do like that this album is classified as electro funk yeah i think that's fun um and a perfect way to describe what's happening mm -hmm. um but i like the line or the chorus um nobody dressed can effeminate me like i am basically like i'm as woman as i'll ever be and mm. your dress doesn't make me more womanly or feminine like yeah i am me get over it yeah that's how i interpret the line but i don't know i think it's cool mm -hmm. i like it a lot well i just like i mean this is something that her and beyonce both do beyonce is more of a pop kind of rappy artist but like right. they're just so powerful and Beyonce is more powerful like ugh, in your face powerful mm -hmm. but Solange is like the really kind of like laid back like I like I feel like I feel like the Beyonce is a Solange is a she really is you uh, you come here and you ask me for favors I, would, I just we want to be friends are we friends I don't know that's a quote but I'm trying to be the godfather. I'm doing a terrible I could tell. Job. Terrible job. Anyway, that's irrelevant. But I sat back like this and I felt the need to do it. Mm -hmm. But she's like the kind of like she like like the intimidating, like just really calm, but like do not fuck with me because I know who I am yeah. and I will ruin your life if I need to. <laughs> like I, I just feel like I think I said this last week, but there was a tweet that said, How can so much power come from one womb? Yeah. <laughs> it's really true. Yeah. Like how did just, like, the elegance and the class that these women carry themselves with. Yeah. It's, like, I think being in the same room as them would is enough to murder you. I'd melt. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm sure that they're incredibly wonderful, nice people. Well, yeah. But I it's mean, just they've never like, done anything that would prove otherwise. No. But it's just, like, just the way they carry themselves. It's, like, oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> and I am one of the people, I think Beyonce's overrated, but that's just because she's seen as like the queen of music, whatever. Um, not to discredit her success, but I think she's overrated. I think that her and Solange on a talent level are at the same mm-hmm. the I same agree. level. I definitely different, agree. Different paths. Different genres, same talent level, yeah. Same talent level, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, and I think Solange does some writing for Beyonce. Yeah, she does. Well, she so, wrote for Destiny's Child, so. Right. And I'm, like, not saying that Beyonce is not a good songwriter, I'm sure, but, like. Right. They're, they're working with each other. And right. they're, like, yeah. And I think that they recognize each other's talent. Oh, yeah. Like, obviously, with Beyonce promoting Solange's album, she was like, yeah, my sister's really fucking cool. Go listen to her music. Right. It's so. not a competition between the two. No. It's, it's a not. collaboration thing, mm-hmm. which is awesome. Also, I didn't know that their dad had their own had his own record label. Yeah, I didn't That's either. Cool. That was fun. Oh, my coffee's empty. I keep trying to drink it, and it's empty. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't like the sound, but the lyrics are great. Mm-hmm. So that's all I really have to say about it. Mm-hmm. I, I think, I wish I would have, like, I say I wish I would have had time to, li- I, I did, I just, like, didn't do it. Um, right. I, I would like to, to sit and listen to a seat at the table and then just immediately go on to the next. Cranes. See what that's or, like. Or, yeah. When I get home. Is the next one. That's yep. what it's called. Crazy. I keep wanting to call the other album Cranes in the Sky because mm-hmm. that's the most popular song yeah. off of it. Which the most popular song for this one was um, Almeida. Almeida? Mm-hmm. Almeida. Almeida. That one has gotten a lot of uh, notice. What's the word I'm looking for? Acclaim. Sure. Popularity. People keep talking about it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I want to yeah. like maybe take some time to like just listen to them all in, like consecutively. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. I have to tell you this funny sidebar about Megan and she's going to be mad that I called her out on this. So she said something to me, and she, like she tried to say, "I'm making the executive decision." She's like, "I'm making the consecutive decision," <laughs> and I went, "The consecutive decision?" And she's like, "Yeah." And I said, "Do you mean the executive decision?" She goes, "That's what it is. It's not consecutive." And I'm like, "Consecutive is one after the other. No, that doesn't make any sense." And she was like, "Ah." Oh. <laughs> I'm like, "Funny." That's really. Also, what did Caroline say the other day? Oh, because we were, like, giving each other shit. We were giving Caroline shit, and she's like, well, you said consecutive decision. Um, she said demoned with, like, a D on the end of it, and I went, demoned. And she's like, yeah. And I said it again, and she goes, what's wrong with that? I said, do you think demon has a D on the end of it? And she goes, huh, no. <laughs> 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 oh, man. It's fine. It's all fine. You know the word I can't say, right? The P word that I can't pronounce. Oh, what is it? Yes, I do. You told me, and I don't remember. Peculiar. Yeah, I can't say that word to save my life. Yeah. For some reason, I put an extra L in it. Say it. Peculiar. Peculiar. <laughs> You're wild. I don't know if I. I don't know if I have. I'm trying to think of like things. I, I have a lot of words that I can't spell. Ever. Oh yeah. I can't. Um, I can never spell individual. I spell it individual, and I'm like, Leah, you're so stupid. Oh, what's the word? There's one word. I spell it wrong every single time, and it. I used to be a lot when I worked in leasing. It was a word that I had to type all the time, and I would spell it wrong every single time, and I can't think of what it was. I also I also spell receive wrong often. That one I, sp- I put because it's the, I, I it breaks E-I. the I before E rule. Yeah, and I'm like, why? Well, the English language is complete garbage, anyway. Yeah. So, I'm gonna make up my own. I used to not be able to say literally. How did you say it? Literally. Good. I, it was just all L's. <laughs> when, my, when my sister was little, she would say the alphabet, and she'd get to L M N O P, and she'd go M N M B, and then she'd continue. <laughs> <laughs> I sang it. I have. I still when I'm thinking, I'll be like. Oh, like yeah. in my head. If I'm like looking for, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like putting like something in alphabetical order, I'm like, okay, me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, so that was cool. fun. <laughs> There's Solange. That's Solangi. That's all for our fortieth episode. That's all, folks. Maybe this maybe this week. I'll, no, I'm gonna do that for fifty. I'll do it for fifty. 
Um, a special blooper reel. Would yeah. y'all like a little blooper reel? Would you like that? Maybe. We haven't had one since the 10th episode. Yeah, I, can't, I kept meaning to do it. I was like, I'm going to do one once a month. The first one took me so damn long. Well, because you edited it Ember Chamberlain style. Yeah, but it was funny. It was really so, funny. So, like, I got I to gotta keep doing it. We should watch it Because it's really funny. I have to burp. We should. <laughs> wow, that was a big one. <laughs> I hope they couldn't hear it. <laughs> I heard it in my headphones, so I'm sure that they could. You <laughs> see, that's the thing my family does. Me and my mom and my mom's mom, my grandma Connie, we all go scoozy instead of excuse me. It's scoozy. And anytime Connie would enter our home, she'd go yoo-hoo. Anybody home? <laughs> yoo-hoo. Yeah. Yoo-hoo, big summer blowout. <laughs> <laughs> The fucking pigs from Shrek. That's how they talked. Yoo <laughs> That's how I talk. Yeah. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, Anchor, all the places to listen to and I watch. I just looked right into the light. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> uh, we add a little bit to our Friday Foods playlist now. Um, next week. Next week. We're doing Analog by Odie. A new guy. He's cool and fun. Um, oh yeah, our handles at Music Monday Cast. Bump. At Music Don't do this to me. Monday Cast. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Making my life harder. Have a musical Monday. Do it. Mm. Have a musical Monday. Do it. Bye. Be awesome. <laughs> 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 what happened? <laughs>